Blaise Pascal is known as one of the greatest thinkers of the 17th century. Mathematician, scientist, inventor, philosopher, author, and even theologian. He squeezed a lot into a very short life where he died at the age of 39. Uh, his contribution to mathematics is seen in many ways, be it the Pascal Triangle, uh, the wager, uh, Pascal's wager, uh, also his theory of probability is still used today in actuarial science. Now in physics, uh, among other things, he, he proved the, uh, the idea of atmospheric pressure. At the age of 19, he invented the first mechanical calculating machine called a Pascaline. He was hoping to help his father out. He saw him uh, in unending uh, work of calculation uh, as he was taking care of his business as a tax collector for the French king. And uh, information that is gleaned from the Pascaline and the way he had set it up is today used as one of the basis for computer science. He was a young man who was well off and had a bit of a uh, libertine reputation. But on this day, the 23rd of November, 1654, Blaise Pascal, a month after a near fatal carriage accident, he has an experience that will change his life. He writes it down for us in uh, what is called today the Memorial, which is kept in the uh, National Library of France. And uh, we, we, we read uh, what happened to him, and I'm going to read uh, what he wrote on this little manuscript. Fire, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, not of the scholars and philosophers. Assurance, assurance, feeling, joy, peace, joy, 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 tears of joy. Jesus Christ, I fled from him, I denied him, I crucified him. I separated myself from him. May I never be separated from him. Complete and sweet reconciliation. He would then sew a copy of this text into the lining of his coat. It wasn't until after his death that by pure accident, uh, a servant discovered the existence of this manuscript. He had kept like a radio silence for his whole life about this manuscript and about his experience of fire that night. And if it hadn't been for this discovery, we would never have known. But after uh, this, what he described as a conversion experience, he turned his superior intellect to questions of faith and a defense of the faith. He wrote, among other things, Les Pensées, the Thoughts, which is a defense of the Christian faith uh, to the liberal scholars and philosophers of his day. And in uh, Les Pensées, uh, we read uh, some of these reflections that he had that you may recognize. For example, there is a God-shaped vacuum in the heart of each man which cannot be satisfied by any created thing, but only by God the Creator, made known through Jesus Christ. On this day, in 1654, God filled that vacuum in the, in the heart of Blaise Pascal.